Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to our channel once again. If you're just seeing this channel for the first time, this is Jackba with your days. And as you all know, we bring an exciting and affordable opportunities to all our viewers and subscribers. Yeah. So today I have another great opportunity to lovers of Canada, those who want to relocate to Canada. I have another exciting permanent residence opportunity for those who want to move to Canada. Yes, the city, the city of Saskatchewan has released another job opportunity through their program called Rural and Urban Immigration Pilot. Yes, they have released another in-demand job opportunity. So as long as you have the required experience within some of the job opportunities that has recently been updated this month on the rural and urban immigration pilot, you are eligible to apply. Okay, so I'll be showing to you some of these jobs and how you can make your application. Now, like I said, you have to get a job within the city of Saskatchewan or within the community of Saskatchewan because some of these in-demand jobs or this permanent residence pathway is for the city or the community that are in Saskatchewan. So you must be ready and willing to live in Saskatchewan either as an individual or with your family. And that means that you can relocate once you secure an employment opportunity and uh, community recommendation within the Saskatchewan uh, community or within the Saskatchewan city, you are eligible to move with your family. Yes, you heard me right. So you and your family must be willing to live in the community or in the city of Saskatchewan. So today I'll be showing you to you the details of some of the new jobs that has been uploaded and how you can contact an employer, secure a recommendation or an interview with an employer, get the job, make a community, uh, I mean, apply for community recommendation. And once you get all, and once you have all the required documents, you can use it to apply for this permanent residence pathway to Canada and live in Saskatchewan by August or September of 2024 this year. Yes, you heard me right. So these are priority of occupation in demand job, or I mean in, in demand jobs that are recently uh, uh, that are recently uploaded on the rural and urban immigration pilot for those communities that are in Saskatchewan. So you must be ready to live in that city, like I said, before uh, you can uh, before you can apply to uh, this job. So come with me as I show to you some of the details about this job, how you can apply to these jobs, the, the different job opportunities that are available and whether you have a university degree or not, as long as you have the required experience, you can use it to apply. So this is the website of the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot. And you must be interested, like I said, you must be interested in living within this community. So let me quickly show to you the community. So these are the community in Saskatoon that you must get a job within this community, okay? All the ones that are circled in red, you must get a job within this community. So let me quickly show to you some of the uh, community that, that have recently uploaded some in-demand or priority jobs that, are, that they are looking for. So now, and then uh, yes, so this is this is the uh, intake period, okay? Uh, March and April application has ended. So we are now in May. Now, May application will resume by Friday, May 17, 12 a.m. And it will end by Friday, Friday May 31st by 11.59 p.m. So you must submit your application if you want to go for the batch of May, which is for this month. And then also the batch of June will resume by June 10th till 23rd of June. So, and of course, you have to submit your application within this timeline and apply for the community recommendation for you to be considered for the permanent residence pathway that this opportunity will uh, give to you. Now, now, and the city, the, the, the community in Saskatchewan, the community in Saskatchewan that has uploaded job opportunity is called the Moose Door. Yeah, 
the community will utilize the rural and urban immigration pilot to continue to strengthen our local economy and support the development of our workforce. For more information on the benefit of immigration, please visit this place. Now, this we began accepting application for a Moose Jaw community recommendation. Moose Jaw is a community in Saskatchewan. So you must be, if you, if you, if you are looking to apply for this job, so that means you are seeking to uh, move to Moose Jaw in Saskatchewan. So the Moose Jaw community recommendation from individual wishing to immigrate to the community through the Rural Northern Immigration Pilot Program started in December 2020. There have been 288 community recommendations issued till date. So and from time to time, they always upload different job opportunities. Now, let me quickly show to you how to apply for this job opportunity and submit your application. Now, the first option is that you must find a job in the Moose Job, in the community in Moose Job, okay? You must find a job. The job must meet the criteria to qualify. You must use our opportunity page to find a job. They are priority, they are priority job opportunity, and I will show to I will show them to you shortly. Okay. So, and if the employer is not currently enrolled with the uh, rural northern immigration pilot, direct them to the employer's page. So, all employers that you will be applying to have already uploaded some of the jobs. So, any employer that is not registered with the rural northern immigration pilot will not be considered so which means if you apply if you go if you get the job you will not be automatically considered for the permanent residence opportunity now you have to undergo some special you have to undergo screening process with the employer directly this may include interview and some sort of uh, references from probably your previous employers to be able to ascertain your application and d and see you fit for the job opportunity that you are applying for also receive a qualifying job offer from the employer. So the employer, through this code, must be able to issue you uh, uh, a job opportunity, a job offer, and you and the employer need to work together to complete this step, okay? The step four, complete the IROC form and the RNIP candidate application form, which I will, I will show to you some of the uh, details about this uh, shortly. Gather all the required documents indicated on the most job document checklist and then use it to apply for, and, and of course, it is until after you have been able to secure an employment opportunity with an employer registered here, that is when you will be able to uh, fill all the required documentation. And that is why they stated here, you and the employer need to be able to work together to complete this step. Now, when you are done, there's something called community recommendation. Okay, submit your completed application package to this email here. The program coordinator will assess your eligibility using the federal eligibility and community criteria point system. Don't forget the community is called Moose Jaw. So they will assess your application package through the federal eligibility procedure and through the community criteria point system and see whether you are eligible for community recommendation. And of course, part of the uh, details of the uh, 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 application or the document that you will submit is uh, offer of employment through your employer, the IMM 5911 Schedule 1, RNIP candidate application form supporting document, Moose Jaw RNIP document checklist. All of this, you will attach them as a single document and use it to apply and send them to this email, okay? Then eligible candidate will be contacted for RNEP interview to confirm their intent to reside in the community of Mujo. Candidate deemed ineligible will be informed by the program coordinator. Now, after the interview, the selection committee will make a final decision on your application and decide whether you have been um, approved. So each of these, um, th these are the three decisions that can, you know, uh, befall your application. Approve for your RNAP application, place your RNAP application on hold, or decline your RNAP application. Each of the each of these three decisions have different, uh, but of course, if it is approved, that means you can move to the next stage. If they if they place your application on hold, that means you have to wait for. Uh, I mean, they they will, they will continue to consider your application for the next six months to determine its eligibility 
criteria with the job posted, okay? The program coordinator. And of course, you can also read some of the essential information because I don't want to bore you. Of course, I will leave the details of this uh, website to me on the video description so that you can engage with them and you know see some of this information. So I don't want to bore you too much with them. So I've shown to you the intake period for May and for June that will be uh, open shortly. And then let's quickly look at some of the uh, priority application. Now, as you see here, they are, we are accepting more application in 2024 during the designated intake period, beginning from March, which of course has ended. So the one that we are focusing on is for the May and the June intake. Please note that the criteria scoring system, priority occupation, and employer eligibility criteria have been altered. So in terms of job opportunities that have been posted, they have made some changes and you have to go through each and every one of them. So let's look at some of the priority occupation that you have to focus on. Now, uh, these are the priority occupation. So if you have any experience within this uh, priority occupation, you can, um, uh, you can apply. Now, for priority occupation, any trade category designated by the SAT excluding cook, food and beverage person. Now, let's quickly look at this SAT system to see which um, which job are posted or eligible to apply. Now, agricultural equipment technician, these are the, all the jobs that I can apply. Uh, a boiler maker, boom truck operator, boom truck operator B, bricklayer, cabinet maker, carpenter, construction craft laborer, okay? Construction electrician, cook electronic assemblers, um, aesthetician, technician, food beverage framer, you know, glazier, air stylist, and the like. So, and then let's go back to the National Occupation Classification Tier 2. So this is for the Tier 2. So they said any trade category designated by the uh, SAT system, which we have just talked about, however, they exclude cook, food, and beverage persons and guest service representative falling into that category. So subcategory 422, that is, that is for paraprofessional occupation, in legal, social, communities, and education services. So these are the jobs that fall under the tier two. Now let's quickly look at the one that fall under the tier three category, general construction streets. That is the one that fall under the tier three category. These are priority occupation and they list them according to their uh, category, which I mean, according to their classification in terms of tier, tier one, tier two, tier three, tier four, tier five, okay? For tier four, they have truck dispatcher, home support worker, caregivers, and related occupation. And they're under the same uh, uh, tier four, they have industrial butchers and meat cutters, poultry preparers, and related workers. Now, under the tier five, okay, they have construction trade helpers and laborers, other trade helpers and laborers, laborers in food and beverage processing. So these are the priority of occupation. So let's quickly look at all of these occupation that employers have recently, current, uh, current jobs opportunities that employers have recently uploaded on the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot website. Okay, let's quickly look at them. So these are the list of the jobs here, okay? And I think it's, a, it's about 83,946 uh, jobs that they have recently uploaded for those that are willing to work in the most job community in Saskatchewan. And as you can see, the date in which it was updated or uploaded, it is May. Our date posted, it is May 11th. You, so we have native stores, professor, RMT, registered massage therapist, an automotive service technician, physiotherapist, construction general manager, cabinet maker, stock clerk, supervisor, Telecommunication general manager, retail stores, supervisor, automotives, and I mean the, the, the details are endless. And you can, as you can see, all of them were posted on May 11, 2024, because the application will be opening by May 17. So, and I don't want to show more results, but they are there. So they are there for you to be able to assess and look into. Okay, so let's quickly, you know, check one of the job opportunity, okay, just to see. So just to have an idea, construction general manager, okay? And then they said that uh, the hourly pay is between 76 Canadian dollar uh, to 37, uh, 37 hours per week, 37.5 hours per week. And the permanent employment, this is the full-time employment, day, weekend, early morning, 
then one vacancy is available for this one and the language of instruction i'm sorry the language of communication is in english and of course education they require bachelor degree or equivalent experience and at least one year or lesser than two years experience is required and this is the job responsibility they, you have to be allocating material, human and financial resources to implement organizational policies and programs. So you can read all of this uh, 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 job responsibility. And this is how you can apply for this job. Now, who are these jobs meant for? Who can apply? The employer accepts application from Canadian citizens and permanent, permanent or temporary residents of Canada or other candidates with or without a valid Canadian work permit. So, this is what the employer and most of the jobs that are posted, employer work with other international applicants that are interested in this job opportunity because they will, at, at the end of the day, assist you to be able to get the community rec recommendation and apply for the permanent residence opportunity and move to most job in Saskatchewan together with your family. How to apply? Package all your uh, documents together in one document and send it to this email. This is where you will send it. And in fact, almost all the jobs that I've just shown to you, the same format uh, uh, is applicable to all of them. You package all the job experience CVs and everything. And, and of course, try to decide, uh, maybe design your CV in an European format or a Canadian format such that, uh, uh, I mean, you, they will be able to see that uh, you, are, you are fully prepared to be able to um, enjoy this job opportunity and move to Canada. So the job was... Uh, the job is advertised up until the 25th of May. So which means you have up until the 25th of May to apply for this particular job. And each of the jobs that, you, that you've just seen that I've just shown to you earlier have different deadlines that you have to be able to submit, which of course, which of course uh, uh, goes with the, the timeline for submitting your application. So, and as you can see here, uh, generally for the May intake, the deadline is May 31st. So, and of course, if you want to package your opportunity for June intake, you also have to look at the different job opportunity and uh, uh, and when it was uh, when it was posted to be able to apply for them. So, if you have experience in any of the jobs that I've shown to you, you can use it to apply. So, I've shown to you the different deadline that you can use to. Uh, apply how you can uh, how you can make your application how you can submit to how, how you can submit your application and I've also shown to you the different priority occupation that you have to have experience in and how you can uh, uh, and the different jobs opportunity that you can of course apply to that are recently posted on May 11, 2024. So if you have experience in any of this job opportunity, you can use it to apply. And like I said, this is a permanent residence opportunity to those who want to move to Canada, most job community in Saskatoon. So you cannot afford to miss this opportunity. Package all your CV and every other document that is required and use it to apply. And of course, if you need any, uh, if you have any comment, clarifications, or any information whatsoever, drop comment on our comment section. We will try as much as possible to answer you and of course do your due diligence on the video uh, uh i mean on the on the website because i will be dropping them on the video description do your due diligence and make sure that you you know gather all the required documents and use it to apply and once an employer give you an offer you can of course uh move to the next stage by applying for community recommendations and if you are lucky if they grant your if they approve your community recommendation, you can use it to apply for uh, uh, a work permit, which automatically give you access to permanent residence. Okay, so this is the opportunity that I want to quickly talk about, and uh, this is Jackpot with your days. Like and subscribe to our channel so that by the time we drop opportunities like this, you will be the first person to get notification. Till I come your way next time. Thank you very much. Bye bye for now.